Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. We're jumping into 458 because I gotta change some tires. We have balded the tires finally from doing all those donuts. But before that, I have to do an errand. I've never gotten a HEPA shot. So I'm gonna go get a HEPA shot now. And then we're gonna go change tires. We're gonna drive super far today from BF all the way to West Ave. This afternoon also, we're gonna check out a new model of Ferrari that just landed in the Philippines. That means we're going to drop by the Ferrari showroom so we can feature it for now. Cold start. What is happening over here? This is the drunkness that comes home from evening. All right, I just got my vaccine done and coincidentally enough, the husband of Jennifer was the classmate that I had in high school and I haven't seen him since high school. So we were chatting about my transition to being a plant-based lifestyle and just the health regimens that I put up with. But enough of that, we are on the way to West Avenue. It's roughly 48 minutes to get there. It is so traffic, but we are 15 minutes out. Hopefully it doesn't rain because we have zero grip. There, so you can hear just a mild acceleration and basically lose traction already. I love it, but it's also very dangerous. Passing by Atoy's shop, I haven't been there in ages. It's been so long since I've been down West Avenue and these are all car shops and I don't remember having the, this many shop in this street but our old good friend Atoy Lave is on this street and Atoy helped me start in the industry. So the car is too low and I'm trying to raise the nose up as much as I can. Everyone's waiting for me and we're gonna bring it in. Go. It's a small shop. Okay, here's the tires. On the outside, the tires look really good, but when you go in, we have the belts, and we'll take the tires out so you guys can see it more. Hi, Carlo. Salamat. Ah, kap to yung binigay. I think naka PS4 S lang ako. Oh, mas makapet. Pero maubos ko rin yan. Shout out to Michelin Philippines. They gave us some Pilot Sport Cup 2s. Here are our tires, and then here's the inner belt. Also, that's even worse. So when you're looking at tires, these are little indicators here, which tell you your thread. So if you're near this little tab here, then you know you have a problem. So technically, we can still run this tire, but obviously for safety reasons, we don't want to, especially if the road is super wet. Now, we're gonna get to see the tire up close. Just stay into care. So the tire bar is that little block there, and that's how you know you're maximizing your tires well. We're already at the max on the inner thread. And as you can see, we're lacking so much thread already on the inner tire. Too many donuts. So we're going to the back. They're balancing already and mounting. Kanda, Hunter. Sidewall, super stiff. Hey guys, doing a quick lunch break. They're mounting the tires, I'll be back. Just finished my lunch and look at all these wheels that he has in stock here. I quite love the bulk racing wheels. Look at that. One of the favorite designs ever. SSR for racing. TE37 Special Edition. Wow, lots of race here. So if you guys are ever in West Ave and uh, need your tires changed, you can definitely check out Empire Auto. Not affiliated with them. They're opening up a new shop also right across so that they can cater to more unique builds. And the owner, Carlo. Hello. Thanks, Carlo. I see you have uh, wheel alignment, tire balancing, mounting. You sell wheels also. And then you install off-road suspension also. Oh, nice. Two-inch lift. Two-inch lift, yeah. Which makes the ride softer, diba? Right? Especially for the cars with the hard ride, like the Fortuner. Yeah, yeah. It helps improve the rear seat. Oh, kasi sobrang tigas. How many years have you been here? Dito sa branch na to, two years. Two years, ah. Oh. So, Amin namin sa Manila, uh, dalaga pa yung mother. Oh, wow. So, Pero, ano, family, on, family yeah, business family na talaga. Business. More on tires and mugs pa lang nung time na yun. And nagsiservice din kayo? Do you change oil also? Ah, so you do, ano, basic service? Basic service, yeah. Brakes, suspension? Brakes, uh, suspension, oh, fluids. Uh, fluids, yes. What's your most mabentang mags here? Most probably VLF. VLF? Oo, yung brand. Kasi medyo abot presyo siya. Pero original. Alright, nice. Tapos yeah. yung iba naman, fuel, pang mga off-road siya. Oh yeah, fuel, fuel is famous in the US for off-roading. Yeah. 
Oh, sure. Even the yung old suburban ko, fuel yung off-road mags ko. And then, Carlo also uses Hunter alignment, Hunter tire mounter balancer, so it's top spec. And they're affiliated with Moto. Yeah! <laughs> Boys are struggling because the tire is low profile. So, we got one down, one more to go. So, same, there's the tire bar. The tire bar is flat already, but uh, this is really bad. So we just finished and we're gonna get a photo with the group. All right guys, leaving, the car is finally done. We're gonna head to Ferrari. Thank you so much to Carlo. Empire here at West Ave, go check them out. Let's break in these new wheels. <laughs> wow, this traffic has been insane. We've been crawling for almost an hour and something already, but we are almost at the Ferrari dealership now. I'm excited to show you guys the new Ferrari that landed. It's the Ferrari Roma Spider. And if you guys follow my channel, I actually have owned previous convertible Ferraris, which was the Ferrari Portofino. And then the predecessor for the Ferrari Portofino was the Ferrari California. But the new Spider actually comes with a soft top. It's not any more hard top unlike the more modern Ferrari. So for example, the 812 GTS is actually sort of a hard top Ferrari. The Spider comes in the soft top and I think this car fits the lineup because it is the everyday supercar that you can use. Even if I like to put mileage on this 458, I already have 21,570 kilometers as of this video. And my goal with this car is to keep running it until the gearbox falls up or until we reach like X amount of kilometers as much as possible in my opinion. I really love this car and it's one of my favorite cars to bring around. Now, the Ferrari Roma Spider will definitely fit into a different category because it is a GT car. It's not meant for extreme high speeds even though it can go high speed. It's not meant for all out performance. It's actually meant for the daily user driver. We're in the underpass and we're gonna wait for the car to move forward so we can get a short spurt. <laughs> Back in Ferrari. So we can feature this one. Welcome back to Velocita and right here is the new Ferrari Roma Spider. As I was mentioning, the Ferrari Roma Spider is the GT entry level car. I know it's so sad to use entry level, but this is a very beautiful car. And if it wasn't in this color, it won't remind you of other branded cars. But if you look at the designing cues of this car, it's actually very different from the Portofino de California. And I love the sleek designs of the headlight along with the body lines. Now we're gonna go through it real quick. We're gonna do a brief video there's other videos online about this car already but off the bat this car shares the engine i think with the 488 it's got the 3.9 liter twin turbo it's got an eight speed dual clutch gearbox it's different from the old gtb 488s because the 488s used to have a seven speed but the difference with this is the spider roof is actually fabric normally when you're buying the california and the portofino you get the hard top but here you get a fabric top so i think it's very much lighter and for me the design of the spider looks way better than the coupe so i'm gonna pick you guys up and walk you guys around so first up in the front of the roma you have this painted grill this has never been done in any of the ferraris so the painted grill is a first for me to see and I wouldn't mind contrasting it with something else, but the thing I really don't like is this guy right here. That is the LiDAR and lane assist radar, and it looks like it's just out of proportion. I don't know why they didn't want to hide it or make it symmetrical, put it in the middle, but that looks like it stands out a lot. If you can just not mind that and just look at the design cue, look at how this hood and sexy fender just complements each other. This is an old, according to them, to the older Ferrari 250 GTO. I actually am not very familiar with the design of that car, but it's a very small power bulge right in the middle. And then you have these nice arches. Now the headlights for me are one of the nicer parts to look at on this car. In this angle, because you don't see that LiDAR sensor, it looks very good. Now, if you look really close, it actually reminds me of a Mako Shark. So it's got that sleek departure with all the lines. Standard with every Ferrari is these carbon ceramic brakes. You have 20 inch tires in front and 21 inch in the back. And for the first time, you can actually request it without a shield. So we've been handed the key 
and later we're gonna open the rooftop. The roof, if you guys are wondering, folds down in 13 and a half seconds and you can finally do it while you're driving under 60 kilometers per hour. The older cars like the 458 GT3, you can't put the roof down when you're moving and it's the most annoying thing because sometimes it's so hot and you wanna put the roof down. And because the older car, the roof takes a little longer to fold Unlike this car, you can move it and uh, fold the roof at the same time. Now, on this side of the car, it's actually very clean, very smooth profile. I really love how it looks. But my favorite part is how the spider roof connects to the rear. It's a very smooth line from here all the way down. Even the way the glass is shaped in the back, very sexy. So yesterday, we were all debating on what this section here is. And I found out from watching Auto Trader that this is a little wing. No wonder the color is different. Now, you can't activate the wing. There's no button inside to deploy the wing. But when you are driving, depending on the driving characteristics, that will go up and act as a small spoiler. Now, if you guys are familiar also with the Portofino in the California, the design used to be very boxy here at the end and they finally gave it so much curves and they basically chiseled it down and uh, wedged it out in this sexy elegant manner. Now the taillights are very similar to the 296 and I haven't seen these taillights in the other Ferraris. I'm very used to the round taillight designs but uh, you get the quad exhaust also in the back and I wonder if there's a lower diffuser. So unlike the 488, there's no lower diffuser. There's nothing to deploy at high speed. Because they love me here at Ferrari, they handed me the keys. I'm gonna do a cold start first and fold the roof so you guys can hear and see the folding roof in action. And I do like the door handle where you just push your hand in and you can open it nice and easy. So 13 and a half seconds. Let's do a cold start first. And then the roof folding down. quite a while we're gonna intercut it so you guys can see and then the roof is finally folded down nice and bassy so we're gonna drop the window so that it looks cleaner when it's in convertible mode it transforms the car to a different looking car and I quite quite enjoy looking at it so sadly even if it looks like a 2 plus 2 you cannot fit anyone in the back unless you want to chop their legs off. The interior is very nice just like you would expect from every Ferrari. It is well appointed and done very well. You get the Roma badging over here and a small LCD screen. The center infotainment system, the gear selector to control the DCT transmission, and then the steering wheel with all the bells and whistles. The rear seats on this car and the legroom is very questionable. I don't know who you would be able to fit in there and the I guess the backrest is just basically all the way up. So the trunk space of the Roma when you have the folded roof down is almost the size of two airline trolleys where the hand carry trolleys I think side by side will fit in this trunk space. Now maybe with the trunk up you can fit more luggage but right now the roof is down here and I wanted to point out the roof also looks very beautiful because it looks like denim unlike the basic roofs that you get. So just like all modern supercars, there is no spare tire. You do get a pump here and probably a fixer flat. So you can touch the button here so you can open the car or close it. Does that activate? It locks a lot. So when you enter the car, you can grab the key. There is a logo behind this piece of paper and then you can slot it right there. So you can see the Ferrari logo right there. And I was mentioning right here is the reverse lever and then here's automatic and manual. And then if you ever need launch control, make sure you don't. These are the window controllers here left and right. This is to bring down the soft top and this is to deploy the wind diffuser which basically helps buffet the wind. You have a Apple infotainment system over here and then you have the beautiful screen. This screen of the Ferrari is actually very high definition and I love that graphic just moving around. Similar to modern Ferraris, you have the control systems all built in the steering wheel now. If you're a beginner Ferrari user, it's actually very confusing because this switches here, there's switches here, there's switches here, and even behind there are switches. You have the wiper here, there's a toggle switch for the radio on the right side, and then there's another switch on the left side. So you have your volume knob over here and your headlights over here. So we're gonna power it on by pressing the engine and we're not gonna step on the brakes so the car doesn't start. 
This is the startup screen for the car, battery voltage discharge, and then you're gonna step on the brake, start the car. It's nice and bassy. As you can see, the whole screen or the whole touchpad is lit up already, and the car needs to be charged. We're gonna bring the roof back up. So you can see the folding roof from this side. Also charging the battery for them. We're doing them a favor. <laughs> Do a quick rep. Sounds good. Sounds really good for stock exhaust. Now over here there's actually more buttons that you can use. This is also the headlight control and I think the mirror controls. Now we're gonna open the engine bonnet which is dead center and as you can see the convertible top. It looks so smooth. Again I point to, out to you guys. Look at the transition. To the trunk. Now it looks like it's floating because there's a third brake light located underneath the top. We're gonna check out the massive 3.8 liter engine. Ferrari always makes a beautiful engine setup and as you can see it's always very symmetrical from the air boxes down to the intakes. Now this is a 3.9 liter twin turbo engine. It's got about 620 horsepower and 700 newton meters of torque. Now Ferrari really makes a beautiful engine bay. Everything is so symmetrical. Look at that. So three things I don't like about this car is one, we can't test drive it. Two is that LiDAR sensor right there. And three, it probably takes 12 to 18 months to order one. And I don't know, what do you guys think? It looks very beautiful. I would do a different color. I would think a blue or a blue silver, one of those colors, not this gray. Actually, if I look back far enough into the YouTube videos, my old Portofino was exactly the same color. I did have the red interior though, but right now, this car as a daily driver would make sense, but I would have to give up driving the 458 GT3, which is something I can't do. But on the meantime, for cruising, I think you could put anyone in this car, unlike that car where I wouldn't let Joey drive it. This car, I actually might let Joey drive it. And I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. But for now, I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you so much to Ferrari Velocita for always having me. In the next videos, we're probably going to see them in their new location already.